Today we're at uh, one of our local dumps today, thought we'd have a little look around, not too far from us, um, so good weather, thought we'd pop up, have a look around, see what we can find. Just one up the road from us, we've been here quite a few times, you might recognise it, if you do, you recognise it, uh, no point in saying where it is. So we're going to have a look around, we're going to drag you guys with us, see what we find, hopefully we might get some gems today, let's go. My goodness, it's absolutely a beautiful day today. It's just reaching the end of February now and the weather has took a, a lovely turn for the better and it's beautiful. So we've just come to a local one. Um, it's been dug over miles more than when we were here last time. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's uncovered a few bits and pieces. You just never know. But it's su such an active place um, that there's always people here. So you know it's always touch and go um if you can find something because it's, it's a very very busy place but yeah the weather is fabulous so come on let's get hunting let's see if we can find something one that i haven't found before and two that i can put in the giveaway and typically the first thing i see sticking out i can't imagine it being full one but of course it is typically oh and I, I gave an explanation into a previous video as to why I do feel the compulsion um, to keep taking these because of frost damage, etc, etc. Although I don't actually feel that same compulsion with the glass, with the bottles. But yes, I'm afraid I still feel the compulsion. So is it a fake one? Yeah, there's nothing on the bottom. I still feel the compulsion um, with collecting these. And as somebody else said, um, I'm like um, the Nicola White of the the jam pots so there you go first find typically is a jam pot don't often find them on this part of this um victorian tip actually so yeah nice little find and i'm going to take it all right i was just walking along just having my first look and that like that definitely won't be full but that what does that look like to you because that looks like something i haven't found before a bird feeder and that is the most complete one that is the most complete one. I've found bits of these. I've even found bits of these parts, but that, oh look, what does it say? It's got some writing on underneath. Mm, patent, it's just the patent number, isn't it? Patent and then the number. But yeah, that would gone in the cage, you know, slotted in the wires, and that would have had the water and all the food in. So the birds, you know what? That is a bit broken, but I'm gonna take that gonna take it and I might try and fix it somehow because that is the most complete bird feeder that I've seen so yeah that is definitely definitely coming home a little uh, white glass milk glass bird feeder okay well I don't really know where to start with this place because there's just new holes and stuff everywhere so come on let's just pick a hole and let's just go for it and let's see what we see down the hole right okay Pop my bag down and let's go down into this one and let's see what this one is all right it's just a plain one just one with the tall neck but we need to it's in these piles that we need to look in in these what's that uh, broken right let's have a look see what's tumbled down shall we let's have a look Mm, is that a plate? That's a white one. Our oh, whites. Right, no, I don't think there's anything exciting. Let's have a look on the side. Oh, what's that? Is that? Oh no, just a bit of pipe stem, I think. Just the end of a pipe stem with the mouth bit on it. Is that it? With the mouthpiece on it. Even though I've got 10 million pipe stems, I still pick them up. Still enjoying those. Another long neck bottle. They're nice, but they never have any writing on. 
just check. Oh, this actually has writing on it. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a host sauce, yeah. The host sauce ones have writing on. So that's a nice host sauce. I think you've probably seen that I've, I've picked up many, many glass stoppers that say host sauce. And that's what the bottle looks like for those stoppers. Right. Don't forget, this is just our first sort of cursory look. And see if there is anything. Found this interesting piece of wood here, look. What's that say? Let's get it out. Yeah, let's get it in the sun. Sarah might want this. Let's have a look. She likes a bit of wood. A bit of wood with writing on is quite interesting. I see up here. Oh, excuse me for walking along with that. Look. I see that. Let me get out of the sun. The sun's, sometimes it's lovely to get out on a sunny day, but you can't see because the sun's in the here from it. There. Look. Looks nice, isn't it? Okay, up and over the hill um, and see what we can see in this one. This is quite a big crater. Let's let's find our way down because it looks like there's quite a few bits and pieces down there. So don't forget, this is the place where I can't really lift the camera up unless I'm in the bottom of a hole. Uh, what's that? That's not... Oh gosh, I thought there was a stopper in the end of a bottle then. <laughs> and it isn't. Uh, it does. There's a cod bottle. That won't be whole. Oh my god, there's a whole cod bottle here, a whole cod bottle, oh my word, just lying there, oh they must have forgotten it, let me get down the hole so I can talk to you, oh my goodness me, a whole cod bottle just laying there, what's that about, they must have forgotten that, they must have, it must have rolled down the hill and they must have thought it was a broken one, has it got anything on it, yeah Mac, Max trademark Manchester Max trademark Manchester a full cod bottle can you believe it I was just thinking oh my gosh everything's broken there's gonna be there's only gonna be a few bits and pieces here and look full cod bottle I can see a few bro broken ones at my feet but look at that a full one well I didn't even have to dig for it or anything it was just there lay on the surface right and you can see there's a, there's a few broken ones I'm not collecting broken ones anymore um, I have enough to cut down. I thought they've got quite a few. Oh, they must have found, found a few in this hole. But that is great. Obviously, still got its marbling because it's whole. Right, let's have another look, see if there's anything else in here. I'm going to stick that under my arm. Some beer bottles. Plain, plain. I presume the beer, they look like beer bottle type shape. Hose sauce, is it? Oh no, it's not a host sauce, that one. There you go, what's that one? Hmm, let's see. Manchester, okay. War. Warrams and Co. Manchester. Hmm, don't even know what that is. Warham, I presume it's a sauce because it's a sauce shaped bottle, isn't it? So, sauce bottle. But, oh gosh, it's going to be. I can't even say that's the first. It's not even, oh, sorry. I can't even say that's the first because I found full cod bottles before, but still an amazing find, a full cod bottle. I went and put that bottle in my bag because um, the last lark I went on, I picked up a couple of things, not amazing, exciting things I picked up, but one was um, a rusty like wheel with spokes and another thing was um, like a, a tile, a fancy tile, roof, I don't know if it was a roof tile or a garden tile, and I completely left them there and so I was gutted. So if I think if I get something that's really, really nice, I'm just gonna pop it in my bag because I don't want to forget it again. Cause that's all I could think about yesterday was what I forgot. Oh, this has got a bit of a label on this one. Let's have a look at this. Tiny little bit of the label left on there. That's a hose source one. Let's pop that to the side. Sorry, pop that up there. Is that a plain one? Just a look because sometimes the chemist ones oh is that a caster is that a caster let me see yeah that is a caster a bit icy oh a white one a white caster is it ceramic then hmm. not, no might not be ceramic i'm not sure but yeah i like casters so i will keep that that's not full i can see that's broken but yeah a few broken cods but that doesn't matter because we've got our full one, haven't we? 
feeling quite clever about that although I didn't actually uncover it it was just on the side anything else okay just sat down just was doing a piece to camera and uh, next to this I don't know what that is is that glass or is it plastic let me just tap it oh I think it's plastic I thought it was a little vial it was a vial thing but you know there's such tiny little cods in here what a shame they're broken but I, I'm not I'm not going to take them I don't need to cut any more down that's another Fletcher's and Holt um, cod bottle but there's a few I found a few down there loads of broken stuff it's just I don't know why there's so much broken stuff here today there's a lot of it a lot of broken bits right come on oh look at that that's a shame a big white master ink broken one look at that what a pity right let's get out of this hole we've, we've got our cod bottle which is absolutely amazing there could be more under there but you know doesn't matter we've got we've got one good item out of this hole right is there anything else i can't see what's that up there we're writing on Whoop. Bit, bit of glass there we're writing on oh a little oh hang on a minute look at that little bottle there a little tiny bottle oh that's a lovely little panel bottle look at that that is really nice a lovely aqua panel bottle very pretty but it was this i saw this with some writing on hmm i don't know there's not very much of it but yeah that's a, that is a lovely little panel bottle right let's have a quick look along here let's go and get my bag oops I'm not going to take that panel butter because it's a little bit busted at the back there. Although, oh, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm just going to pick it up and take it with me and see how I feel. Right, we've got to just get through all these broken bits. There's so many broken bits today. Not sure what that's about. Look, there's another bottle. I'm trying not to take bottles, but in a place like this, it's you can't really help it. Small ones. Maybe if I just say small ones. Okay. Oh, right, there's quite a few of these big ones here. Let's have a look, see if we've got any with pictures on, because I do quite like the picture ones, even though I don't take them. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a quite a common one. It looks like, um, like a carpenter or something like that on it, with Manchester on it. I don't know if you can see that. They're really difficult to show you, actually. Really difficult to show you the pictorial ones. Let's have a look at that one. That one might be able to be seen a bit better. I don't know if it's a blacksmith or something. Fletcher and Holt. It's got lots of embossing on it, but these are thick, these bottles here. So, oh, oh, look at that. You know, I've got loads of clay pipe bowls, but I still love finding, I still love finding them. That is a beautiful find, a full pipe bowl oh that's super that's a nice find and i just got drawn to those bottles there i know i said there's a few well there are all the holes around here and you so let's have a look down here let's see what we've got let's not just walk past sorry let me just put my bag down let me put my pipe bowl in here because that's where it goes okay what have we got here what is that one now, that, whatever that's got on it, that's not coming off. Probably a tablespoon's anyway. And it is tablespoons. Right, oh, there's a jar. You know what, if, I, if all I come away with is a, it's a jar, so I'm happy. Right, the green ones, those are nice, the wide neck ones. Not for me. Is that full? Oh, God. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. It's got, a, it's got a thing in it. Don't need to collect those. I've got plenty that need mending like that. Right, what else have we got here? Oh, what's this one? We'll check to see if it's a chemist bottle. Let's have a look. Let's get my glasses on. Ooh. Mottis, Mottis Head & Co. Manchester. Oh, the, the neck is real. The lip is really quite gnarly on that, which is a shame. Mottis Head Manchester. I presume it's a chemist. I don't know. What's that one? Lovely shape, aqua colour, but very plain. Let's pop that on the side. 
What's that one? Would have been pickle probably. Is there anything else in here? Shame though, I thought that uh, jam pot was whole. Little square one. I think it's, oh, it's got design on the corner. Oh, that might just save it. That might just save this one. If you can see, get the stones out. That has saved it. I thought that was just a plain square bottle, but as potion bottles go, Things like that, that is perfect for it. Look, the pattern all the way around, all the corners and then and the shoulders as well. That is a lovely little bottle for turning into a potion bottle. Yeah, that's good. Another good little find. I can see something down there, I don't know, around about here somewhere. I'm not on the gimbal today, so I thought I'd give myself a break from the gimbal. So it might be a bit rickety to film, but you're all over the place, because uh, there's no smooth running with the ups and downs. Something down there. I've got to try and get down there to pick it up. It's there. It's like a small plate or something. You can see it there. Let me get down there and get it. Right, oh, shimmy down here. It looks like a little plate. Oh, looks like a toy plate. I thought it might have had a bit of willow on it at least. But only a toy plate. We'll keep that. Let's keep her. Right, come on. So what have we got? A pipe, oh, there's a little bottle. Pipe, pipe bowl, cod bottle, that bottle. Not doing too bad. Ooh, that's a lovely little bottle. Check in to see if it's got a pouring spout. It doesn't, just not. Oh, it's got writing on it. It has writing on it. Oh, hang on one second. Right, Mick's got me something, but I'm just wanna, oh, but we'll be writing. Right, one second. What's that say? Let me just wipe it on my trousers. Coffee Essence. Oh, well, there you go. Coffee Essence. Sim. Simmy. Simmington's. Simmington's. Simmington's Coffee Essence. Edinburgh. That is a lovely little bottle. Simmington's Coffee Essence. Right now, I'm going to definitely keep that one. I'm going to keep it with that that one there. And Mick's just thrown me some wood with writing on. So, oh, let's get a bit more comfy. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, sixpence cake. What's this? This looks lovely. Oh, Mick, this is a good find. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I've just made it worse. Oh, what's that say? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I don't know what that says because I just made it. Oh. My trousers are dirty. It makes no difference. They're dirty anyway. Oh, I can't see it at all now. Oh. Right, I had sixpence cake on it. That is definitely a fabulous find underneath all that dirt that I've just rubbed in. It'll still be on underneath. It's been buried in dirt. Right, six, sixpence cake. Definitely. Wish we had it here. Super finds. That essence one is lovely. And you've got a bottle stopper. Oh, it's got a stopper in it. Yeah, no, I hadn't. No, just gone down the hole. Right, okay. Here we go. Getting a bit better now. You always panic when I come to places and see loads and loads of broken stuff. <laughs> right, because I have to, you know, find some gems for you, don't I? It's a plain bottle, so I'm not too bothered about taking that out. And now my pants are absolutely filthy because I've rubbed all that, rubbed all that dirt on them. Mm, never mind. Right, there we go, a stopper. So, a few good little items there. What's that? Broken. Right, did you see a little bottle here? That is a tiny one. That is a little one. These ones are quite thick, generally. Quite tricky to clean. I'm presuming a penny perfume, because whatever it is... Oh, is that a stopper? No, sorry. Whatever it is, you can't get much of it in. Okay, because they're, they're really quite thick. The glass at the sides. So, there, there you go. Let me get them out, show you. So we've got that little bottle, the stopper. What have we got in there? That essence. That and that piece of wood, which I've made worse. Oh, I wish I had some water on me now. Sixpence cake, I wonder what that is. Right, I need to just dry that out and then brush it off when it's dry. Yeah, so look out on the um, live on the Sunday after this. That should be dried out and we'll see what it is. We'll see what the make is. It'll look like a make there. Another price ticket at the end, but then oh, six, six D cake, whatever it was. Right, 
They are super fine and I'm going to put them in my bag to keep them safe. Right, I just spotted over here that, and just in case it was full, I brought you with, what's that there? Oh, oh, I haven't come over for the, this. Oh, but look at this little jug here. Oh, it's only missing its handle. Oh, a little tea set, little dot, little child's tea set. That is lovely. I'm very unexpected because I haven't come over for this. It's just that when I leant down, sorry, it's very glary the sun. When I leant down, I just saw it sticking out. Right, but that, there you go, a little, there's a glare on the lens, it's from the sun. Um, a little jug, a little doll set jug. Can you see it? Let me get it in the shade a bit so you can see it's got like a pattern on it, rib pattern, but that's not what I'm here for. This, I saw this and I thought, you know what? It might just be full, so. I'm gonna oh, bring you with me. Try not to bury anything. Oh, it's not, it's broken, but it doesn't matter because it got us that, didn't it? Whoops, is that something there? No, right, we have got that. So that is a beautiful little find, a little um, tea set, little Charles tea set jug. Really nice. A small bottle there, look. A tiny one. Uh, maybe we should keep that. I think I might keep that because it's quite small. I don't know Sarah wants it because she's cutting back on a lot of stuff, so uh, I'll take it anyway. She may want it. I'll take it. Ugh, right, there's a few bottles on the surface here, so let's have a quick look as we go past, shall we, just in case. Yeah, beautiful colour. What's that one? Has that got writing on it? No. I like the chunky style, but I don't need them. Look, there's lots, there's lots of big ones that we won't entertain anyway, so I don't need to look at them. And that, I like the shape of that one there, that conical one, but we won't be taking that one either. What's this little one here, little panel one? It's nice, but I have picked one up, so we can leave that. I just want the little things that are a bit different, really, to be. Let's see, is that a lid? Oh, it's a jar. Oh, it's one of those ones. One of those dishes. I've got tons and tons of those dishes that aren't broken, so I won't bother taking that one. Let's have a look. Lots of cod bottles, broken cod bottles. Oh, them naughty, naughty kids. Naughty kids smashing them for the marbles, which is what they do. So sorry, there's going to be a lot of looking down at the floor. But if I go slow enough, you might be able to see things as well, mightn't you? Okay. Right, there's a massive bottle there. Look, by the size of my foot, you can see how big it is. Right, let's move a little bit further along. Oh, is that a pedestal? Oh, it's too broken. I was going to say, is that a pedestal I can use? But look, oops, sorry, it's a little bit too bashed, that pedestal. So that's a no on that one. Nice little double-edged bottle. Actually, that's quite nice. Double edged sheer top. I've got dozens. Got dozens. I'll leave it there. There's so many smashed things. It, it'd be nice to leave some full things for somebody, won't it? We don't need to take them. I can just show them to you. Ooh, lovely big jar. They are nice. These, sorry, my shadow. These jars are nice. They're great for vases. Really, really good. Oh, smashed boots. A smashed boots chemist. What a pity. Yeah, I don't know. don't know why there's so many broken things. Right, let's have a look down here. Yeah, broken panel bottle. Yeah, I can't see anything that's standing out to me. Just trying to dig holes everywhere, aren't they? It's sort of like they're digging test holes, doesn't it? Right, oh, tiny little one, all oh, smashed. You don't often see them smashed because they're so very, very strong. Right, come on. Let's have a look over here. Oh, what's that bottle there? Let's have a look at that one. Very bubbly, very nice. Aqua, oops, aqua bottle. Is that one plain? It is. 
nice bottle though. Uh. Right, okay, I'm just going to go over to the big bottles there, look. Okay, that looks like, oh no, it's not, it's broken. Broken jam pot, good, good, good. But that, that bottle there looks interesting. Let me see. Oh, what's that there? Oh, a bit of nothing. Oh, now I like that one. That is a nice bottle. I've not got that one, definitely. It's got anything on it. What a shame, there's no, no writing on that. That is a beautiful little bottle. Right, is that a bit of pipe stem? Sorry, there. Yeah, bit of pipe stem. Pop that in it. Right, we need to just have a closer look at things, don't we? Is that, it's not bead there, is it? Let me see, let me see. Put my glasses on. Is that a, oh no, it's a collar stud. Well, it's quite a big collar stud, that actually. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I've lost it. Oh no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh gosh, get it in your bag quick. I nearly. <laughs> I nearly, I nearly very, very, oh, I've got to bend down, sorry. I nearly, very, very nearly lost that collar stud. Yep, so I'm going to put it in my bag pretty quick. But I was just about to say, let's have a closer look because we can see tons and tons of, of broken stuff here. Right. So we, what we need to do is have a closer look and look for the little tiny things. Like I thought that was a bead, but it wasn't. It's a ceramic, ceramic collar stud. But I'm going to stick it in my bag here. This bag. So it doesn't get lost. I'm definitely taking that bottle. Like I say, the last trip that I did, I uh, left a couple of things behind, which I was quite gutted about. Right, what's that in there? Bottle? No, not interested in that one. Let's have a quick look on the side. Can we see? See any gems? Nope. Right, let's try and get back out now. Shame about that because it's a small one, but you know, not overly bothered anymore. <laughs> there we go. That one's nice. What's this one? No, ten a penny. Got a million of those. That's a nice one. That's nice and bubbly. One of those shallow, shallow white jars. They're always nice. I think they had things like anchovies in, and or paste, or pate, or anything like that. That sort of thing. Right, we've got it with bag, so might as well pop that in there now. Let's have a quick look on the edge in case we spot anything just in case it's on the surface a little bulb growing there a little bit of nature for you what's that oh it's like a oh it's etched with a flower on it can you see that let me get down so we can see it Hiya. Hiya. Don't put me on yet. Yeah. Right, no, I won't put you on. Right, no, I won't put you on. Right, the bottle digger Kenny is coming over to show us his gems, and we won't show his face, we'll just show his fantastic finds. Right, let's have a look. Oh, you've got something writing on. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. That's lovely. And what's ginger beer? Right, okay, ginger beer one. What's that? Look at the picture on that. So what's, is that a Romford? Wow. With a stopper in it. I think it's uh, a cream pot. Oh, right. Yeah, it looks a bit like it, but it's got a cross on it, hasn't it? Yeah. And it, what colour is that? Oh, it's green. That's lovely, a lovely cream, cream pot. Oh, you've got one with rice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've never seen that before. Never, never seen that one before. Cheese. Potted meats, Southport. That's a, that's beautiful. That. This is what you get up early and dig for. You see. Patrick Croft. Where is it? Even is Patrick Croft? Don't even know where that is. Is that Yorkshire? They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Yep. Was it worth it for you then? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And look, you've got a bag, a bag full of goodies there. That's amazing. Yeah, and, one, and one bag too. I'm very, just, very good. I'm just checking this. The car this what a shame a little trinket dish a little trinket dish oh it's all busted never mind all right what's that teapot spout busted um I, I do actually collect the ones that are nice now not if it had something else about it and not and not be busted at the end i'd probably keep it because i have got a little project for teapot spouts now not teapot shame about that all right we've got a little bottle here that's spotted on the way Oh my god. 
This is it. This is this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down the hole. Tell you what, I've just found something which looks very exciting. Sorry, don't even know if you can see me. I'm so trying so hard not to film where we are. Let me wipe this. Oh my gosh. This is the point, you know me, my excitement levels get quite high quite quickly when I find something that looks super, super exciting, right? I've come in for a bottle. This is what I usually do, right? Come in for a bottle and then I see something right next to it. I can see it, I didn't see it so clearly through the, the camera, but I can see it clearly now. It's something with a dress on. I don't know what that is next to it. I, found, I think I found something exciting. Now, after looking at a few Kenny's bottles, and I've just come for that bottle there, Mick. Yeah, I can see something sticking out of the ground. Can yeah. you see something next to it? Yeah, a little white thing sticking out. A little white thing. I don't think it's sticking out, because when I come to this angle, it looks like, no, not that white thing. Oh, no, the, oh, I can see it, oh, yeah. Can you see it? Let me get closer so everybody else can have a quick look. Yes, I'm so excited. What could it be? I don't know. I think it looks, it looks like, like it's got a, a skirt. Looks like a sort of thing, doesn't it? But it's got a skirt on it. Maybe might have so far you decided to dress the show with Rod and Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. That's how we find it in the dirt yeah, like that. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom back. This is what sort of right. eyesight you gotta have. Don't touch it yet, wait. Oh, I'm just gonna just move that bottle. I just wanna show them what sort of eyesight you need to have to spot that. Yeah. So you're walking around walking looking around like that. But it was the bottle that I saw. I didn't even see that thing. And there's another thing right beside it, that could yeah. be something as well. There it is uh, anyway, you can pick it up. Right, okay. So this is what I came for. The bottle. Just an ordinary bottle, it's nice, but I'm gonna keep it. And then I saw that. Yeah. I did spot that, but that. Oh, I'm go on, Mick. Go on, go on. You get it, you get it. Right, what is it? Oh, gosh. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Oh! Oh, I just pop. Oh, this is. Then my glasses fell down. Is it full, even? Yeah, oh, my... complete, yeah, it's complete. I've got legs and everything. It's just uh, got that <gasps> stripy tight dress on. Right, I just, just let me wipe out my trousers because I just want to get a bit of that dirt off. If I can, my trousers are filthy. Dirt, dirt. <laughs> oh, no, that's a bit better. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, it's got a little face, it's got little hands, it's got little legs, and it's got like a little dress on best it. Best find ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the best find ever. That, because I didn't even know they existed. That is amazing. Effectively right, okay, mate. Oh, that's beauty. Yeah, yeah little uh, aqua one. They are lovely. I've just found a clear one. Yeah, and something else. Oh, <laughs> A little doll's plate. Not, though, not what? Not a willow one. Not a willow one, no. But it's a little little um, tea set plate, and I found a little jug. So look at those. Those are great little finds. What have you got there? Oh yeah, it would have had feet. It would have been. Oh, what a shame. Oh, that is a bit of a killer. Look at that. It would have had little legs on it, and it's green. Yes. It just. I didn't see it until I came down to look. Yeah, that was that bit that was next to it. But yeah, look at those. What Mick got? The doll's plate. You probably saw him find them. That bottle and that little bottle that brought me to that little doll thing. I don't even know what it, Maybe it's a pudding doll, actually. Maybe it's a pudding doll. That, oh yeah, I'll ask Northern Mudlarks, definitely. Those are gems. The doll thing is now in my bag um, to be safe. Of course, I don't want to lose that because I have never seen anything like that before. That is a gem and that is a bucket list find. That I didn't even know was on the list on my bucket. So there you go. Right, let's keep searching. Wow, like the perfect, perfect cut out hole there. I would almost think that the person that dug this hole out, whoever the bottle digger was, bottle digger was, must have been a grave digger. If it looks like you stopped at six foot. Look. I was only just thinking about beads and I found half of a bead or yeah well, I'm halfway there yeah but this is a different bead this one's actually made of diamond it stands out from the rest and there just sat on top of a mound of dirt is another clay pipe clay pipe bowl and that one has doubling on it and that is always a welcome find. So that's two pipe bowls here today. Beautiful, nice and thick. Never tire of it. I do one of those northern woodlark houses because that is a lovely little craft to do actually. If you haven't seen it, go over to their channel because they did they did theirs in the kiln, but you don't have to. You can just paint on it and glaze it.
but go over to their channel and see where they did like the little fairy houses because that is a great craft to do with the pipe bowls and I think I shall be doing some more of lovely find pipe bowl right stick that in my bag get that in my pocket oh gosh still excited about that little doll right come on or whatever it is I don't even know what it is pudding doll thing get the little bottle here little bottles here for embossing because a lot of them do have embossing on in this part that one hasn't but it's got a lovely like neck and shoulder so I like that so I'm going to keep that little one there now I feel invigorated and excited about things on here honestly sometimes when you come and you're just not finding very much or you're finding a lot of what you've got already it's a it's a bit disheartening till you get into your stride okay so that little bottle yeah that's keeper oh what's that? what's that is it a bone oh and it's a bobbin oh i love i love wooden bobbins i'm just going to turn it off saying oh we found nothing i'll change my battery but there you go a wooden wooden <laughs> a wood i'm so excited about that doll a wooden bobbin okay just jumped into a hole and there we go a nice little find can you see it it's in the center so you probably can't miss it but always a lovely find a glass stopper no name on it no writing but still it's just a lovely little still a lovely little find what's that oh what's that <laughs> oh see you only need one good item from every little hole smashed on the back a bit but look at that a little a little girl she's missing her arm missing her head obviously but let me see if I can get out of my shadow how's the best to show it there we go can you see that I'll put my glasses on so I can see what you're seeing there you go she's got a blue dress on with gold dots on she's got one arm she's got her legs standing on a tree or some, some such thing yeah that is definitely a Frankenstein piece it's virtually all there the back bits busted off it a little bit but I think we could make that into something we could definitely turn that into a Frankenstein piece so yeah there you go just when I was saying everything's smashed in here I found one little gem that can be uh, turned into something nice see something down there see if we can spot it I'll give it a couple of seconds because it's a uh... what can I say I can see a head down there. It looks like a head. Could be anything but a head. But I found with this dump, it's not a case of walking around hoping something's going to come out of you. I find if you uh, stop and look around and take your time and have a good slow look, things do just suddenly appear like that. I would have walked. I think I walked through this dump or this hole three times, and I find if I stand still and wait. And just look around, things just start to reveal themselves, like our little friend here. It's a definite keeper, I think. Okay, you can see a couple of little bottles on here. Little ones are allowed, so let's go down and have a look. Oh, that's a nice one. That's like a, oops, sorry, that's like a aqua blue one. That's nice. Bit of a blue. Oh, have you got something, Nick? Oh, a stopper, yeah. Oh, we love a stopper. Right, let's have a look. There's broken ones there. Got a sort of full one over here. Let's have a look, see what this one is. This full one. Tablespoons, of course. Uh, I wouldn't mind some driftwood, actually. Some, not a driftwood, some, you know, nice wood if I find it, because it dries out lovely. A little gem won't be going down there. <laughs> that is so black, I can't even see the bottom of it. I bet there's some gems down there. Let's see if he's thrown any out. Little bottle, little little sauce one. Always nice. Oh, there's a button. There's a button. Always a lovely and a marble. Oh my good, what's that? Nope. Cod marble, always a great find because you always think, well, they roll away, so you're very, very lucky. Is that? And a button. Great, two great little finds. Two little gems, that's all you need. That's all you need. What's that? The base of a. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh gosh. That's a lens. I have got a bigger one or a fl 
No, I've got a flatter one than that that somebody gave me. That, oh, oh, I've lost in marble. Oh, that is a red lens. Oh, that is an amazing find. I need to find my marble now. Oh, wow, look at that. Gems, I've lost my button. Right, I'm going to put, what's that? Oh, it just seems to be nothing. Right, I'm going to put this, oh, I don't know where my button's gone now. Right, I'm going to find my button. I've got a cod marble and a red lens. Oh, it's a bit chipped, but, but is it red or is it orange? I don't know. Oh, it looks orange. It's not even red. It's orange. An orange lens. I wonder what that would have been off. Oops. Oh, gosh. An orange lens. Any idea? Let me know. What do you think? It's, it's like, um, it's not flat. It's like bulging on either side. And it's orange. Not red. So, I know I have got a red one. Found it. I haven't moved. It's there. It followed the path of the marble into there. I thought that was another lens then. Uh, right, and that odd. Where was that lens from? Uh, very, very strange. Right, button. Going in my bag. Going in my bag to be safe because I don't want to lose you again. But what a lovely little spot. There is. Oh my word. What's that? What is that? And that is all. Where did I find the other? Found the lens down there. The button over here. I'm going to put my glasses on. That looks like a stopper. That is beautiful. Is it chipped? A little bit. A little bit. Oh, that is a beauty. And I don't have that shape. What sort of shape would you call that? That is lovely. That is a lovely, lovely stopper. Sorry, things keep catching my eye in this place now. That is beautiful. Wow, we've just had, what is that, four or five gems in one little spot? That is amazing. Right, let's have a, one last little look. Is that pipe stem? No, it's a twig. No, a twig, twig, twig. That is amazing. Oh, oh, oh. right, okay. Bottle stopper, marble, button, and some sort of orange lens. That's incredible, right. Those are super little finds. I'm gonna put this in, oh, I sat down there. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll put this in my bag. To be safe, okay, a few little gems in there, look. A few little gems, oh gosh. Eventful haul in here, hasn't it? What's that thing there that keeps catching my eye? What is that? It's not a bottle, is it? What is it? Oh, that looks like a giant carbon rod of a battery, doesn't it? Carbon rod of a battery. Very nice, but I'm not sure what I'd do with it. But is that orange? I'm seeing orange glass everywhere now. Right, what's this mesh here? That mesh. Absolutely. You know what mesh that's good for? That chicken wire. Do you remember? I've got a little figure that looks like it's kicking a football. Do you remember? I said I haven't got any net, any mesh that looks like net. Now I have, I can do that Frankenstein figure with the little boy and add the marble, add the marble to it. Let's bend down so I can speak to you. Add the marble to it on his foot so he's kicking it. Add a head to him because I think he was headless. Uh, and there you go, that chicken wire is perfect. Paint it white, use it as a football net behind him. Yep, yeah, we're on it. We are on it. Let's see, while I'm down here, is there anything else poking out at me? Going to go down this hole and see if we have any luck down here. Ugh. Right, what have we got in here? Oh, a little bottle, a little panel bottle. Let's have a look. See if you've got any redeem redeeming um, features about you. What is this one? Is it a castle brand? Newcastle, yeah, so I'd imagine that's a, a castle brand. I won't take it, but I will just pop it up there on the shelf for somebody else. Nothing else down here, I don't think. I will keep my eye out for gems. But yeah, what we found is if we just stop still and just like have a, a proper close look around, other things sort of pop out at us every now and again. Right, so there was that bottle, but that's no we don't we don't want we don't want that. We've got a few of those. As you've seen before, we have a few of those. Right, I'm going to go for a close look and see what I can see in other holes. Enjoy it all. Um, I found a few little gems in one spot actually. Um, we just found a button. Yeah. Then we found a cod marble. Right. And then I leant over and I saw a bit of glass sticking out and I thought, oh, it's the base of a. Well, I originally thought about like the base of a bottle, a uh, base, yeah. base of a, a glass, sorry. And I pulled it out and it was an orange lens. Around yeah. orange lens. 
Not I'm, fine, yeah, I'm finding if you, uh, if you don't, if you get in the hole and just wait and just stand still yes. and look around, this, this is where you're finding things. Yeah, absolutely. Rather than walk, I found like a little well, half a bead, I found. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. I found a bit of shard, but I don't know if you want this bit of shard. Right, sometimes a bit you do, of shard. It's got, it? it's got some writing on it. Oh, right, okay. R, H and S, Brit Britain. Mm. I was actually just thinking about it, I was just thinking about it. I thought it'd be nice like, if I found a bead, because it's such a vast area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, how are you going to find a bead here? And then I found half a bead. Yeah. Then you've got half a bead there. Yeah. But my one's diamond. Oh. <laughs> Solid diamond bead there. Is it half? It's not half, Mick. Isn't it? Don't think. It looks, the other side looks like it's oh, melted. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've lost it now. No, I've got to put it in the bag straight away. Uh, no, Diamond's gone. Yeah, it is half a bead. And then I was walking along and just saw that oh. sticking like that. <gasps> no! And I turned it around for that. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me film me. That. Oh, that is a... a yeah. yeah, and then in that same hole, I also yeah. found a bottle stopper. Like a, yeah. like a crystal bottle stopper. Like, let me just put these in my bag because I don't want to lose yeah. them. Oh, this is, but it's caught my eye. It could be modern. I really don't know. It's got flowers on it. What is it? What is that? Sorry, let me just swap hands one second. Right, what is that? Is that metal? It's got. Oh, I've just made it worse for me. Sorry. Should have brought some. What? What is that? I have no idea what that is. It's metal, I think. It's metal with flowers on it. There's something on the back, but I don't particularly want to prise it off because it's rusty, a bit rusty, so it might break. But that, I don't know what it is. It's metal, it's flowery, but it's lovely. What is that? Oops. God, I've got to think about, oh, is it a button? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. That is beautiful. I can actually confirm now that that is metal. That is metal, so um, further cleaning will let me know what that is. But yeah, it's a metal little something. Right, I just stood up after um, testing that and I saw over here a bottle stopper. Can you see it? One of those mechanica turned ones, but it's still a lovely stopper. And it says Salford on it. That's nice. Right, so yeah, maybe on a place like this, it's just a case of standing still and having a proper look. It's hard because you... The way you look for things, you know, you have different ways to look for things, like I said, when we were with Northern Mudlarks. Mine is to do a quick scan of what's on the surface, whereas they, they're the ones that are more meticulous and go a bit deeper. But uh, it's a hard habit to break, to go along quickly, looking what you can see immediately. Yeah, maybe I should break that habit and start stopping and looking a lot closer. It's just harder to film that way, that's all. Right, OK, I'm going to pop this little stopper in my little bag and I shall go to another hole and see if we have any success there. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Oh, what a shame, but you know what? I know I'm not taking glasses to cut down, but I'm going to take that ginger beer or ink. Could be a master ink or a ginger beer, but I will take that one to cut down actually because they cut down so beautifully. You don't even have to sand them. You just cut them down and they're a lovely solid vessel to stick things in. Yep, I'm definitely going to take that one with me. Right, I've just come up to another bit, a different hole. Well, there's a few holes all in one over here. Let's see if we can find anything. Um, I'm just going to pop this in my bag and I, I shall bring you back. But yeah, that can be cut down. It's a stoneware and it's a, it's a little beauty. Okay, just in a few steps I have to put in um, that stoneware in my bottle, in my bag and just stumbled across these two little bottles here. Oh, that's too busted, but it's a nice one. Oh, that one's not busted. Still got its cork in and, oh gosh, whatever, whatever that is inside. What is that? Oh, don't even know if you can see that. That is original contents, I think. I might, even though it's got its cork, yeah. I might just pop the cork out of that bottle. It's a lovely little bottle. It'll go nicely on my shelf with my other ones, but I need to get that cack out. Right, I've just found this busted cod. Look, it's completely busted at the top, but it's full of soil. Right, the top of it is full of soil, so it might still have the cod marble in it. I don't know, but look, it's busted, so I'm not breaking anything that could be saved. It is totally busted, so I found this brick. 
Right, I'm going to smash it and see if the cod marble's in. Look, don't panic, it's broken, well broken. So let's have a smash and see. Let's get something to get it out with. It might not, it might not be in there. Let me just break a bit more. Got my glasses on. Don't worry. Right, the marble's not there. Is it there? Right, I need to get a stick on that to see. There's no hard sticks. I'm using bones. No, the marble had long since gone. What a shame. Never mind. It was worth a try, wasn't it? Just make sure it's not there. It's not. Okay, that can still be cut down by somebody. But yeah, no marble in that one. What have you got, Mick? What have you got? Pipe ball there. Oh, pipe. For a second, I thought it was a doll's leg. Like, oh, that's an old one. Look how tall and thin that is. Yeah, yeah I found two pipe bowls myself, but uh, not that shape. Right. Shorter, fatter. Yeah. yeah, that is a... That's an older yeah, one, that. Yes. Yeah, 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 these two were laying on top, the ones that I found. Right on top, yeah. Right. Even though I've got a house full of them now, because I've got those uh, giveaway ones from Nicola, finding them, it's just, it's a great joy. <laughs> it's a great joy still to find them. And that's a beautiful one. No, uh, let me just check, no writing on it. But yeah, that is a beautiful one. Lovely heel. Great little find. I can see a couple of little bottles here, so they're worth a pick up, aren't they? Just in case. That's a nice little, it's not quite round. It's a little bit of a wonky shape. I'll just wonky shape that, so I quite like that. I might keep that one because of the wonky shape of it, and it's an aqua. And then I also saw this one here, this little square one. Has that got anything on it? It hasn't, but it's another little bottle. Little bottles are okay. That one's too big. It's nice, but it's just too big for me. Busted. Oh, right. That might make a, a pedestal, though. That one. I'm near a brick, so we might be able to make it into a pedestal here. Is the bottom full? The bottom. Oh, no, it's got a bit of a chip out of it. Otherwise, if that bottom bit there didn't have a chip out of it, I would have just smashed that bit off and I could have used that to stand one of the domes on or some such thing, but... Yeah, we'll just take these two little bottles, just the small ones. Right, and we'll keep on looking. Oh, gosh, it's getting hot. Oh, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? Oh, please don't be dinked on the other side. Oh, you are. Oh, what a shame. We all love an ink. Right, what's that bottle, actually? What is that one? What's it say? On the top of that one, let's have a look. Glasses, sorry. Como C... Sorry, K O M O. Como. Oh, ammonia. Why hasn't that got stripes on it? You'd think that that would have stripes on that bottle because it's ammonia. Como, K O M O, ammonia. I'm not going to take it because it's quite big, but it's a nice bottle for someone that. Very nice bottle. I'll just take these two little dinky ones. Two little small ones. They're still coming with me. I've seen tons and tons of broken cods on here. So. If anyone wants to cut down cods, this is a great place to come and collect the cut down ones. Oh, what's that bottle there? What is that bottle on top? Is it something or nothing? Oh, it's a panel bottle. It's nice though. It's nice. They make a nice little collection of three. You, don't, you can't tell because they're my shadow. But they are all little aqua bottles. Well, uh, this is the first hole I came in. I've just come back round and started again at the beginning and look what's sat on the side there. How did I not see that the first time? Can you see what it is? It's a slate with lines on it and these lines are very much more pronounced than the other ones. Oh, oh look on the other side as well. There you go, you've got the, the wide, and I don't know if you can see it on here, the wide and the narrow ones on this side. So let me just, I don't know wiping it usually makes it worse. But you've got narrow, narrow lines together with wide gaps between on that side. And then the more pronounced equal lines on that side. Now, how did I not see that the first time? And isn't it funny? I found two, and now that's my third one. Another writing slate. Oh, I can, I can feel a picture coming on with these. Definitely some sort of writing, something to do with writing. I've got, I've got nibs, I've got old pens, I've got ink bottles, I've got slates, I've got slate pencils, anything to do with writing. Yep, that is, that is inspiring me now. Now I've got so many. 
that'll be but let me just sorry just see it no it's nothing but it was another little little doll <laughs> but yeah there you go oh that, that's a great little find another writing slate just seen this thing down here look at that it's like a little hand holding the tambourine well you know what that is great i can craft i can sort of frankenstein that onto something there's loads of things that have lost hands yeah a hand holding a tambourine it's an odd little find but you know what that is definitely something that i can use yeah so it's a keeper i think that's it i think yeah. that's pretty much it today we had a yeah. good day today don't you think? fabulous great find yeah, I took my gloves off, but when I started speaking, I started putting them back on again. <laughs> yeah, it's a great find. It's been a nice, nice day out. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's been lovely weather. It's been really good weather. Yeah. Very uh, sunny out. I uh, just want to thank all the supporters that support the channel, all our members, and uh, all the Super Chats, and all the Kofis, and... Super thanks. Super thanks. Yeah. Everything you do. And, and thanks for watching, and thanks for passing comment below. That's very important. Yeah, yeah it's very right. important. The comments are so important. Even if it's just to say, really enjoyed that. You enjoyed that. Yeah. Every comment you give helps us. Yeah. Every time we get a subscriber more, and we start climbing up the ladder, it's what you do, not so much what we do. Yeah. We just put in a, little, a little bit of entertainment for you, and it's what you do that makes us travel a bit higher up yeah. the ladder. So I want to thank you for that. So we're going to go now. Thanks yeah. for coming along. It's been great having you here. Yeah. And um, watch out for the live show tomorrow night. If you want to see what we found here. Yeah, it'll all be cleaned up. It'll be in the live show, show tomorrow. Yeah. That'll be 8.30. So uh, come along there, see us there. And uh, say hello to us. We'll be there. Oh, yeah, it's 8.30 now, isn't I it? And if you gave your change, it's 8.30. I might now, have yeah. said 7.30 in this film. Oh, it's 8.30. It's 8.30, yeah. yeah. So uh, 8.30. We have a few games, we have a few laughs, and yeah. uh, you can get to meet other people there. Yeah. Other mudlarkers and stuff. So, Patrick, thank you. It's all game real soon. Bye bye. Bye.